Welcome to today's Research Business Daily Report, where we take a somewhat nuanced look at Comscore's proposed merger with Rentrack. And then we'll move on to Twitter, which is reported to be discussing some major adaptations that would have some big implications on research. RBDR is sponsored today and all this week by KL Communications a collaborative research agency specializing in co-creation and using its proprietary crowd-weaving service. The obvious lead story today has to be Comscore's proposed merger agreement with Rentrack, but let's all be reminded that WPP owns significant portions of both organizations. It reportedly beat Nielsen to the punch last October in working out something with Rentrack and injected Kantar Media's US TV measurement and data business into Rentrack in exchange for $98 million. And then just to sweeten the deal, WPP gave Rentrack another $56 million in cash so that it owns 16.7% of the rent track business. And then back this past February, WPP paid Comscore an estimated $243 million for a 15 to 20% stake in that business. Bottom line, considering the competition in the TV ratings business and its new resources, rent track is about to become an even more formidable threat to Nielsen and its TV ratings business. And that can't make them very happy. Next, not far behind in order of news importance, is the revelation from Recode.net that in an attempt to grow its user base and to reach a more mainstream audience, Twitter is building a new product that will enable sharing of tweets that go beyond the 140 characters that we've all become so accustomed to. The blog, with this information, has been cited by CNBC, The Huffington Post, London's Telegraph News Service, and highly respected tech industry reporter Walt Mossberg. So it's got some weight to it. And the report says that Twitter users can already tweet out blocks of text in the forms of images. But Amsterdam-based Next Web author Owen Williams speculates and supports the idea that Twitter should discontinue usernames, links, and attachment counts and anything that goes towards the 140 character limit. Our interview yesterday with Indico Data Solutions CEO Slater Viktorov about big data users flailing around in digesting social media data and making sense of it makes this story an obviously potentially tremendous added research resource if it comes to pass with Twitter. Twitter itself had no comment on this report. That's your Research Business Daily Report, where we've been sponsored this week by KL Communications, a collaborative research agency specializing in co-creation through a proprietary crowd-weaving service. And KL Communications has a white paper with some tremendous insights about co-creation's unique ability to not only attract greater participation, but to get it from people who are highly creative individuals. It's an important resource for researchers. Check out the link that is in the email we send out to subscribers. It's also in the description box underneath today's video. We hope you have a great research day and that the rest of your week is a profitable one. Then enjoy your weekend and plan on joining us back here on Monday.